My next honor is to introduce the two valedictorians for the class of 2016. These two students have taken very challenging coursework and yet have been able to maintain a perfect 4.0 grade point average. While their academic achievements speak for themselves, it is their ultra-competitive personalities, yet their down-to-earth approach that makes them an ideal pair to represent the class of 2016. Congratulations to both of you. One of the two valedictorians for the class of 2016 is Morgan Klein. Morgan is graduating with high honors and a perfect 4.0 GPA. She is a member of National Honor Society, serving as secretary, a four-year member of student council serving as class representative, class vice president, and now council vice president. Morgan has also participated on the math and science academic games team. She earned her academic letter, pen, and plaque in classroom awards in U.S. history, English 9, world history, honors English, AP chemistry, and pre-calculus. Morgan was an active member of the junior varsity and varsity volleyball and basketball teams and a member of the varsity track and field team, earning Scholar Athlete Awards each year. She has volunteered at Red Cross Blood Drives, Marlette Methodist Church, Salvation Army, Little Girls Volleyball and Basketball Camps, and many others. Morgan will attend Grand Valley State University this fall, where she received the award for Excellence Scholarship. She plans to earn a Bachelor's in Allied Health Sciences, and then go on to earn her Master's in Physician Assistant Studies. Morgan is the son, or excuse me, the daughter, sorry, Morgan, <laughs> of Scott and Denise Klein. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Morgan Klein. Thank you, Dad, for every sacrifice you had to make for our family. I 
and you made it miss my games because you were shadow. But in the grand scheme of things, you made it possible for me to never have to worry about anything other than my homework. How lucky I am grateful for Thank you to my mom for being my number one cheerleader. You celebrated every A with me and dealt with my mental breakdowns as I complained to you about the endless amount of homework I had. You have come to every game, an academic event, and have always supported me in my decisions. You never let me settle for anything less than my best. Because of that, I love you again. I appreciate all you guys have done for me, and I love you. I would also like to thank my grandparents for coming to every athletic and academic event and for taking me out to our annual Olive Garden dinners. My aunt and uncle, thank you for being my first coaches and for giving me a love for the game of basketball. Also, thank you to Coach Storm, Mrs. Wilson, and Mrs. Hirsch for not only teaching me in the classroom and on the court, for, but for allowing me to come talk to you about life and giving me advice. You are all intelligent women that I look up to and respect. I would also like to thank my friends for dealing with me how I lives and for giving me <laughs> fun memories. Lastly, I would like to thank my friend and co-valedictorian, Angie. This may sound weird, but it's also a big reason why I did so well in school. Being the competitive people we are, we always want to do the best on every test, quiz, or paper. We have always been competing against each other to see who get the best grade that time. But we also helped one another along the way. We did assignments together and sometimes for each other, i.e. lab reports, Mrs. Wilson and Mrs. McCovery can attest to this. We also studied together and celebrated together. I could not think of another person I'd rather share this on with. So my fellow classmates, as you each go off into your new worlds, I wish you all the best. I hope you're all successful and find exactly what you want in life. I would like to leave you guys with one of my favorite quotes. Though it's not a quote from a famous rapper, but he's pretty famous to me. Every time before I left the house on big game day or before an important test, my mother would tell me, do the best you could do and do the best you could be. A quote she had gotten from my papa, where he had told the same thing to his children as they grew up. So these are the last words I would like to leave you all with today. I hope you all do the best you can do and be the best.